Hey everybody, Wanna Weezum here about 4.20 in the morning. I've uh, been having a blast, literally here with Bumble Blast. Uh, took standard Bumble Blast, we recorded his base upgrades, then I took him down the honey tree path. Again, I'm a sucker for armor, uh, that came in the form of honeycomb bark, it wound up giving us plus 40, which is what I was hoping for. Uh, the pleasant surprise there was Honey Buzz and Heavy Honey, incredible attacks. I did not anticipate how good they would be. Uh, I told you I would update you on Honeycomb Bark, dripping out honey that would coat the enemies. Very, very rare. It's nowhere near the regularity of the B Pack Backpack Soul Gem. So, uh, that's just a little side note there. However, this is Lightcore Bumble Blast. You can actually tell there they did a really nice job on his animations. Number one, the bee in the Bezooka is like live. You can see like twitching and, you know, scrimacing and everything. Uh, grimacing, I guess, was the word I meant to say there. But uh, it's lit up, uh, and that's really cool. That's actually what the Lightcore effect is on this figure. That also weighed into my decision to take standard down honey tree and then like light core go down beekeeper now beekeeper to me i kind of equate it to several projectile paths most notably the way that you're going to charge it up uh, I just kind of relate that to like trigger happy. That's kind of like my go-to from the glory days. So that said, we're going to take the beekeeper path. If you're curious about honey tree, uh, it will not disappoint. I currently don't know what beekeeper is going to do. Looks like it should be a blast. But uh, take the link at the top of the video description box. You'll go to a post dedicated to Bumble Blast. You'll see his base upgrades, beekeeper, honey tree. You'll have damage numbers for each one of his upgrades. And on top of that, I will give you in a short text summation. Uh, my personal pick and why and then what I'd recommend to different players of different uh, skill sets and for various reasons so that said we're gonna take beekeeper here to see what it is all about uh, do like the warning box if you're unsure check out my videos one of .com, look it up uh, that said we're gonna get started bear in mind all my prizes here have 18 wing sapphires, that's 36% discount, so uh, to fully upgrade a new lander you need 9088 in that format. Uh, B Armada gets us started here. Hold Y to charge the Bezooka, release to shoot three bees at once. This should be interesting. Alright, we will do these one at a time. I'm not yawning because I'm not into this. I'm yawning because it's after 4 a.m. So, <laughs> bear with me here. That said, um, just gonna tap the Y button here real quick. Buzz off. As you can see, we've got our 17 to 26 from Painful Stings. Now, if I hold it, uh, let's see. <laughs> Okay, so a fury of frenzied activity there. You don't have to hold it very long. I'm thinking like one second, <laughs> two. We'll call it two seconds. So, um, hold two seconds. You know, give or take on that. Uh, shoots three bees. And let's try to get some counts now. That sheep is just asking for trouble. Thank you. All right. There's another sheep coming. Getting eight on that. Got eight there too. <laughs> Got ten that time. Got nine that time and two sheep. <laughs> Got nine that time and sheep was hit. Just, you know, I'm gonna put uh, shoots three bees, roughly ten hits. I mean, that's about the best I can do for you there. Um, now the question though is if it's got some honey coating going on. Then we're gonna do it. So we're gonna hold that, let it charge up, and it's still gonna do the 22 to 33. So uh, 10 hits, same. 10 hits, standard, and honey cool. I hate having that be that long. Um, I might take out shoots. Um, hold two seconds, three bees. 
roughly 10 hits standard and honey coated so I think that'll work for you. Uh, up next we're gonna have to scroll back over this direction. Very tough to like get accurate counts on that, but you get the general idea. We got a general ballpark figure for you. So, stirred up a nest for 1408. A new bezooka now shoots even more bees that do increased damage. I don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say I don't quite understand this one. I don't know how many bees it's gonna be since you hold it down and press that button now. I mentioned earlier I was a big fan of Hive Mind, his tertiary attack, and it wasn't addressed. I said maybe if he comes back, you know, on trap team, he'd have that as a wild pal. If he comes back in trap team, this three shot Bizuka would be like a really cool uh, way to do it would also lend itself well for custom painting now that I've kind of ventured into that. But uh, just gonna go ahead and uh, press the Y button now. Buzz off. So that was three B's and then 19 to 29. So three B B Zuka, 19 to 29, and I think it was five hits. <laughs> Yeah, so 3B Bizuka, 19 to 29, 5 hits. Uh, will it change anything, honey coated? Oh, yeah, it will actually. It's a 24 to 36. That was unanticipated. 5 hits, 24 to 36, honey coated, and I'm assuming 5 hits there. <laughs> I got six that time. Yeah, so roughly five. Yeah, I mean, you know what I'm getting at there. So, um, didn't do it much in the way of an increase, but I mean, it's still kind of. I mean, and the th sad thing is, you can't get a good look at it because he's like holding it pointed down. I think you can when you come in here. Looks really cool. That is uh, probably your best angle of it. Now the final upgrade down the beekeeper path is Queen Bee. Hold Y and charge the Bizuka even longer. Release to shoot a Queen Bee that knocks enemies into the air. Price 1920. Let's go ahead and buy this. The question now is just how long. Like Trigger Happy's Golden Motto does insane damage, but it just, you know, it takes so long to charge this thing. Um, so we're going to come over here. Hmm. I meant also, I guess we should have checked out uh, BR Mata. I'm really tired, so I'm just going to hold it for two seconds. <laughs> okay, so that does do something different. Mississippi 2, Mississippi. Well, that's the queen bee there. <laughs> Getting nine there, so, um, let's see, stirred up a nest. That's still kind of the same thing as BR Mata. I mean, stirred up in this, you just tap it and you shoot the three bees. And then if I charge it for B Armada, there's a lot more bees, but it's still like the same hits and damage. Um, I guess technically. I guess it's double, because they're standard basically five hits and then if I quick charge that was our ten so stirred up a nest is the three B Zuka nineteen twenty nine five hits twenty four to thirty six Armada equals ten hits. So kinda 
I don't know, that's kind of a weird deal. It's it increased the number of bees, but you still get ten hits. So it's almost like that overlaps, which is kind of disappointing. Uh, that said, the queen bee I accidentally shot off one time. Let's do it again. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Okay, that makes a really cool sound. Now I'm thinking when you see the honey drop out of the bezooka, that's when she's ready. <laughs> Yeah, so three seconds. Let me try to count the hits there. Six hits on her. So, um, hold three seconds. Um, 32 to 48 on six hits. So, kind of a cool deal. I mean, and the neat thing is, I thought it'd be some insane charge time, and it's really not. It's roughly like three seconds. So, one to six, two to six, three to six. You saw the honey, and that's when you know the queen is ready. So, standard, just tapping Y. You get three bees shot out at once, 19 to 29, five times. Hold it two seconds, you get like, I don't even know, six bees maybe, maybe nine. They're clumped together, so it's hard to see, but they basically hit roughly 10 times. Now, 1 Mississippi, 2 Mississippi, 3 Mississippi, you get the Queen Bee, thus 32 to 48. So, kind of pick your poison there. Um, of course, you've got your honey attacks. Let's see what the Queen Bee does with the honey, I guess is the other thing we need to check. So there's our honey. 1 Mississippi, 2 Mississippi, 3 Mississippi Queen. So she's going to do 41. That must be our standard number. See 41. Half of that. Will that be? Let's see. 40. 22. 23. 2. 62. And a, no. 123 would be 61. Uh, I'm really tired right now, so bear with me. Um, let's see here, 41. Yeah, so 62. That's what I was thinking. It just doesn't sound right, I don't know. It doesn't seem like I've just seen many of those. Kind of like that uh, 49 we had. That kind of seemed like an odd number. Um, that said, so honey coated will be 41 to 62. Which, that's pretty significant increase on that one, you know. Uh, plus 9 standard, and then what, plus 14 uh, honey coated. So. That said, we have one more thing to do, and that is to pick up the Soul Gem. If you watched, uh, I guess I'll order these in the correct order, but if you watched Honey Tree first, you already know what it is. But Bee Pack Backpack 2560, gain a beehive backpack that automatically launches bees at nearby enemies. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. Alright, now, aesthetically, if you don't like this, the look of it, you're not going to want to get the Soul Gem. Uh, it's pretty cool though, and that'll probably change your mind. Essentially, I'm just walking along, minding my own business. Maybe an enemy sneaks up behind us. There's a bee. Uh, if you see there, you got 38 to 57. That's just standard. They're firing off really quick. Now, if I were to honeycoat something, the bee is going to come in and do 49 to 70. Well, that's where that 49 was. That's a little weird. So, um, very, very, very useful uh, soul gem, in my opinion. Gonna go ahead and uh, pause this here. B Armada did not disappoint. Um, I'm sorry, B Keeper. B Armada, you basically held the Y button and you shot three Bs at once. They hit 19 and 29 five times. Basically, standard. We're not gonna talk honey coated right now. Um, Wait, I didn't put damage numbers down there. Uh, huh. 
Anyway, I guess I'll have to look back. Like I said, I'm getting to the point I'm really tired. If you couldn't tell, <laughs> it's a stirred up a nest. It changed the look of the bazooka, but I feel like it kind of overlaps B Armada. Um, it basically, you do, instead of five hits, you're getting ten hits out of it. Um, no, you're not. Uh, huh. Yeah, B Armada got you the ten hits. Stirred up a nest standard, it was five hits. And then you could charge it and get your 10 with B Armada. Uh, and then the Queen Bee, of course, is like 3 second run time and she does her damage. So, um, I still think most people are going to take Beekeeper just because it's the more offensive path. Uh, most people is probably going to appeal to them a little bit more. Um, I think I could say definitively that I prefer Honey Tree. Uh, it's not a huge margin of difference there for me, but the main thing, I've got the armor, and then the fact that bees are already incorporated into the honey, um, kind of a deal. Now, if you like the queen bee, uh, you would definitely want to go beekeeper. Kind of depends if you like that big, like, wow, here's some really significant damage type of an attack, or if you're like, hey, my character's got plus 40 armor, you know, I feel good about that. Um... I don't know. I honestly, for my play style, I think Honey Tree is actually better. I did not think that would be the case when I started here. I did say if I just had one, I would take Honey Tree, and it was because of the armor. But, um, hmm. I may play with these a while and kind of see how I feel about them. Uh, my apologies here on the end. I am extremely tired. I was, I was planning on doing Zulu, but I think I'm going to hold off on that now. Um,. I'm like randomly clicking on the spreadsheet. That's in college. I always knew I was getting too tired. You know, like when you reread the same sentence like 1925 times, and then you realize that, you know, uh, or you're like falling asleep and your head slams in your textbook for the third time. At that point in time, you basically just have to say, "Hey, I think I'm going to know this as best as I can and call it a night." Probably more important to have the sleep and be functional in the morning than continue to kind of study. So, uh, that's where I'm at here. I feel like we covered it all in the video. I'm just kind of butchering it here at the end. But uh, I'll, when I edit this, I'll kind of go back in. But to me, I feel like B Armada and Stirred Up a Nest kind of overlap. I realize you've got the increase in damage, but um, it's kind of one of those deals they could have differentiated that. Again, one option would have been to add speed down the beekeeper path. Another option would have been to incorporate something to do with the tertiary attack. Uh, that said, the tertiary attack, I'm a big fan of that. I think it might come back in wild pal form, assuming he's released with Trap Team. Um... That said, I, again, I truly believe he's got two really good paths. It just comes down to personal preference and play style. Beekeeper, I think, is going to be the initial choice for most people. Uh, Honey Tree, I think if you actually explore that, watch a video like this one, do a little bit of research, you might find that it's actually a pretty sweet path as well. Literally sweet there with honey. But uh, I think I do prefer that one. Um, I will hold off my official judgment until I've played with Beekeeper just a little bit. Um, I don't don't think I'm going to do that tonight. I'm I've gotten extremely tired just within the 20 minutes or so of this video. So uh, that said, I will quit rambling here. Bottom line, Bumble Blast has two really good paths. I think I prefer Honey Tree, but uh, certainly absolutely nothing wrong with Beekeeper. So it just to me, it's a personal preference. Uh, it's not saying Beekeeper's bad. It's just again. I kind of think the way I roll in the game, honey tree is a little bit better. And I may change my mind if I'm more functional and alert and kind of get to uh, feel what this path does and like gameplay and arena challenges. So uh, stay tuned for that. I will have my final synopsis on the post. Uh, take that link at the top of the video description box. You'll see base upgrades. You'll see beekeeper uh, with light core bumble blast. You'll see hunting tree with standard bumble blast. You'll see whichever path I officially prefer with uh, jolly bumble blast. 
blast. And in addition to that, you will see the spreadsheet which outlines damage numbers for each and every one of his upgrades. That said, it is uh, time for me to hit the hay, sadly. So I'm going to do that. Hopefully this helps you out some. Again, I'll have all the clarifications on the post and in the spreadsheet. So uh, be sure to check that out. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure you are subscribed. You can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+, Plus, whichever you prefer. Again, thanks for watching, and I will catch you back here as we record the base upgrades for Skylander Swap Force, Life Element Newlander, Zulu, and Legendary Zulu.